Welcome to the second part of basic audio mixing and processing, the first steps in editing your audio video course of the Video Teach project. During this course, you will learn how to improve the audio of your recording by using mixing and processing. Recording the sound of a video is only the first part of the audio producing process. Typically, even a very basic soundtrack consists of several components, for example, the voice or voices of the lecturers or presenters, or of the voiceover narration, possibly also background music and some special sound effects, ambient noise, and even occasionally, silence. It is very often the case that the music and the sound effects come from professional audio content creators. Normally, the video maker has recorded the speech, as well as any other sounds related to the content of the video. Probably, every one of these sound sources has been recorded on its own, and they have to be put together. To produce a harmonious audio experience, you can use an audio editing software of your choice, see Unit 5.1 Audio Editing. Computer and mobile software options, which will allow you to blend and combine all of the individual tracks, producing a finished soundtrack for your video. This is the process of audio mixing, which is a technical skill but also an act of creativity since it results in an aesthetic experience of the audio. There could be different audio channels in the audio track. An audio file can have different audio signal channels. The mono file contains one channel of audio. Mono recording is recorded using one microphone. The stereo file contains two different channels of audio, the left and the right channel. Stereo recording is recorded using two microphones, one for each channel. Stereo audio can create a more immersive listening since the audience would not perceive the sound as coming from one speaker or the other, but from the space between the speakers. The audio mixing process consists of several important steps. The first step, design your soundtrack, planning all the components, which should be blended together. The second step, edit the recorded audio, cutting out any mistakes and clearing imperfections. The third step is to adjust the levels of your audio. And the last step is to adjust the pan position. Before you begin editing your audio, you should prepare a detailed plan describing all the components that would be included in the audio and sketching out how would they all blend together. You should answer the question of what is the purpose of the soundtrack, what information you are trying to convey, and what kind of music or any other audio is the most suitable for the purpose. The next step is to edit the audio cutting out any mistakes or unwanted noises and clearing possible imperfections. As we mentioned above, the audio of a video recording can include several different sound sources, see Unit 5.3 Basic Audio Mixing and Processing, Part 1. Different Audio Content To achieve a balanced mix of all of them, you must adjust the volume levels of the individual audio tracks. In educational videos, delivering the teaching content is the most important component of the film. Certainly, you want these elements, such as the voices of the people speaking, to be at an optimal level in comparison to the other parts in the mix. The speakers should sound clear and comfortably loud, and their voices should be pleasant to listen to. Most of the audio editing tools allow you to adjust the volume levels using the volume control sliders to increase or decrease the volume of one track at a given point. Experimenting is the key to mastery and when you are ready with your audio, you should check your mix on different playback systems like car stereo, smartphone, or laptop speakers to ensure that it sounds good across different listening environments. If you carefully adjust the audio levels of each track and pay special attention to how they interact with each other, you can create a well-balanced mix that will result in an enjoyable listening experience. Panning is the process of distributing audio signals across the stereo sound field, typically between the left and right channels of a stereo mix. Traditional recording devices had a pan control for every source channel. In audio mixing software the pan control appears as sliders on the screen, which can be manipulated to send source sound to the left or the right. By adjusting the panning position of individual audio tracks or elements within a mix, you can create spatial separation, width, and balance that will make the soundtrack of your audio recording rich and immersive. After completing these basic steps of audio mixing, you have formed the foundation of your soundtrack. But this is not the end of the mixing process. 
More advanced techniques will be presented in the next video, Unit 5.3, Advanced Audio Processing. Using them will truly enhance the impact of your audio. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project VideoTeach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.